So apparently the sound in my videos is not that good. So, so I decided to buy a new micro micro wait. Apparently they sent me the wrong microphone. Plus you need a battery for this one. Uh, so we're not getting any better sound just for now. But I wanted to talk about something different today. About this thing here. So some of you wanted to know what this thing actually is. Apparently it's from Apple. So some of you have the theory that it might be an Apple App Designer Award. It looks similar, but it's not. This thing is actually a design icon. The year is 2001. Apple has just become profitable again, Steve Jobs is CEO again, and they decided to try something new. So Apple decided to give Jonathan Ive the responsibility to build a completely new kind of desktop computer. You remember this guy here. We were looking for a final design that was very simple. A, a design that left you with a sense of, well, of course, that's the most natural, the most elegant solution possible. And it was packed with amazing ideas. I mean, just look at this thing. It's a cube, essentially. That's the name. Power Mac G4 Cube and it had many unheard of new design features like passive cooling just caused by cool air getting in here and warm air getting out up here. The whole thing is just plain amazing. Just look at how satisfying you can remove the hardware as a whole block. spring-loaded handle, how cool is that? But it also came with a bunch of issues. The biggest one being its price. You can still check it on the original old archive Apple website. For over $2,000 per machine, Apple was only able to sell less than 150,000 units of the Cube. And eventually they stopped selling the thing after a year. Despite the Cube being a commercial fail, it had a big influence on Apple's design language. Apple pivoted from being a fun and colorful company to the boxy round edges that we know and love today. If you want, you can still get a cube from eBay for around 800 in pretty good conditions and some enthusiasts even upgrade their internal hardware, which I think is kind of cool, but I'm not gonna do this. But what am I gonna do with this? I think I got an idea. Here's the thing, even if a product, if a thing is a failure, it can still be a success on the long run. Like the Mac Cube, which didn't perform well in stores, it still inspired the direction of Apple and inspired everything that came after it. And this is the reason why I want to keep the Apple Cube, even though I can't use it as a computer, I still want to keep it as an inspiration and as a reminder that every failure can also become a success. And because it's a design icon, obviously.